This is my 2021 KPM 200 with quite a few modifications uh, done to it. I wish I could go through all of them, but some of them you won't be able to see. First one is added an aftermarket speedometer that actually taps right into the the stock wiring harness. There's a wiring harness directly underneath this panel that you can get to pretty easily. And I made a new wiring harness connector that basically branched off from each wire that was part of the stock harness and feeds in here. I do plan to tuck these wires. Once I take the, once I take the uh, light off here, I'm gonna tuck the wires up inside here to get them out of the way of this. It's kind of ugly, but that's for another time. I just had to make sure everything was working. But this stock Speedo, I will say works exactly like this one. I mean, almost point for point, same features and functionality. It almost is like the same company made both speedometers. I got this one on Amazon and I'll put a link down in the video description so you can see just how to get that. I also have uh, a link down there for the wiring hookup that you need to do, like what wires you need to tap into down here to make it possible. But that's one the many modifications I made to this, um, these are not stock handlebars. These handlebars are also off of Amazon. Um, and I will include a link down in the video description for that as well. Uh, the new 2022 and or maybe just 2023 onwards KPM 200s do have handlebar with a little bit of a higher rise than the stock one. My stock handlebars just did not have much of a rise at all. And I don't even think I have them here. But really, it was, they were just compl almost completely straight across. So I should, needed something that moved a little further back, and, and these worked out pretty well. Um, these ones on Amazon, I did have to, I did have used a tap to basically create a bolt hole on either side to, to mount these uh, stock uh, mirrors. But that worked out pretty well. So what you can't see inside of here, this stock came with a 15-tooth um, gear sort of a primary gear here underneath this cover. If you take this cover off, there's the gear attached to the motor is right there. So this came originally with a 15 tooth. I replaced it with a 17 tooth and just had to move the tire basically pretty much all the way forward as, as far as I can get it. And I still have a good amount of uh, slack in the chain, but that definitely needs to be cleaned at some point. But that was added aftermarket um, and it just definitely improved the bike overall. It didn't really make it any faster, but... Um, the first, second, third gears are much more usable now. I don't, you know, I don't end up having to jump from first, second, and third almost within the first few seconds of, of taking off down the road. So that's been a great, a great, great help. Oh, and I should mention, I, I added this speedo here because the position of this just kind of gets to me. I don't like how low down it is when I'm riding. I have to constantly look, take my eyes off the road and look down at the speedometer here. And it's just, it was hard to necessarily check, you know, what, how fast I was going, but definitely I was missing the turn signals quite a bit because I, I didn't see them. So here up, up in this spot, you know, it's much more in my line of view. I can see the speedo signal blinking. So I can see what gear I am. So everything, you know, everything in the speedo just works really, really well. It's well integrated. Um, still stuck to the kilometer per hour. I'm not sure how that happened, but I'm not sure how to change it. But the, everything is accurate. It reads the speed properly. You can see it reads the fuel gauge properly. It's, the bike is full. It reads the speed. It reads all the indicators. Everything you know works exactly the way I like it. It doesn't have like a fault indicator or any kind of thing like that, which which this would have. You can see like the engine lights on there and that sort of thing. Like being able to tell if uh, you know if your EMI. EFI system or, or if your EVAP system or anything is not working right, you'd see it down there. But that's why I just kind of tapped into this. And these are running kind of in parallel and they run just fine uh, together. So, you know, I highly recommend that kind of a mod if you decide to do it. The other big mod I made is adding an uh, aftermarket exhaust. So the stock exhaust is actually hanging up there. <laughs> uh, I haven't gotten rid of it uh, just in case I ever needed to sell the bike, but I don't use it. So what I use is this aftermarket exhaust I got off of eBay here. They sell a lot of these on eBay, and I highly recommend it. It's very easy to install. Um, 
really, really easy. So I would suggest going with that, going down that road. I also added these sort of aftermarket, also from Amazon storage bags. They work really well. Um, you can't really see too easily, but there is like a this piece of metal right here. It's just a, a, like basically a, uh, a bent L bracket that I bolted to the side. There's screw, there's screw holes in the bottom of this metal piece here. There's a screw hole vertical. So I just, you know, screwed it in underneath, bent the bracket, and then use zip ties to hold this bracket to this sort of like plastic backing that this has. You can kind of see the zip, oops, sorry for the, the camera craziness, but you can see the zip tie right there. So this work, these work really, really well. Um, they stay on here really, really well. I have, there's holes like these that go all the way towards, you know, the back. These basically meet up in the middle underneath the seat. So I just screwed, I put screws in each of these holes. They're, the holes go all the way under here too. You probably can't see them from here, but they're like right here. I just basically put screws down into the plastic fender and just basically screwed this thing down to the fender on both sides. But these are great. I keep my gloves in here. I keep all kinds of stuff in there. So that's the kind of big mod I did to this bike. Otherwise, everything else is basically stock. It's, it runs really well. It's very reliable. Uh, super fun to ride. I just really like it. I like... I like its styling. I like the way it looks. Uh, it's comfortable. It's light. There were just a couple of things about it that I wanted to improve. With the um, the new 16, 17 tooth sprocket on there, it's a 17 tooth 428 sprocket. With that sprocket and with that aftermarket exhaust in there, um, the bike runs and is just much more speedy, much more responsive. Uh, just just runs really, really great. I've put like 2,000 miles on it already. And I'm really happy with it. Just keep up with the oil changes. Lube the chain. Just the basic maintenance, I think. And it's been a great bike. Let me know if you have any questions.